right guys, just out for a little drive in Sylvia. And I'm uh, just driving over from Glossop, heading over to join onto the uh, Woodhead Pass. Driving over the Pennines. I just thought I'd do a little short driving video, just see some of this stunning scenery. Absolutely beautiful, look at that. Gorgeous. Just taking it nice and steady because the road is very, very wet. It's not raining particularly bad now, but it obviously has been, so there's a there's a lot of standing water on the road. In fact, the road's kind of like a, a bit of a river in places. So just taking it steady. Definitely a nice fun road to drive on when it's uh, when it's drier. No point in uh, driving like an idiot when it's wet. See the reservoir there to the left. Water level's still down a fair bit. That's from where we've had a, such a hot, sunny summer. A lot of the reservoirs have dropped a lot lower than they normally would be. It's interesting to see that it is actually still pretty low, despite all the rain we've had these last few weeks, on and off. Got the beautiful autumn colours, as you can see. Stunning time of year to be driving, uh, driving on roads like this. Can't wait until I can be doing these videos in Owen. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to get Owen done anytime soon, just simply because it's dark now when I finish work at half past five, and I tend to spend my weekends with my girlfriend, so I don't know if I'll actually manage to get Owen on the road, unfortunately, before the winter, like I was hoping to. I'm still using Sylvia a fair bit at the moment, I mean, even though she's not supposed to be a wet weather car. <laughs> to be fair, once the um, roads start getting gritted, was you know to stop the snow and ice, that's when I'll stop using her. I don't mind when it's just water like this, but once it starts to get a bit colder and they start to put the salt on the roads, that's when I definitely won't want to be driving Sylv. Don't want to be driving her on the salted roads. And to be absolutely honest, I kind of think I don't really want to be driving Owen on the salted roads until I've done more work on him. I keep thinking to myself, you know, I wanted to get him on roads, making me winter daily driver, which I do. But I'm thinking, as soon as I've got my twin top, I may as well just use my twin top through the winter. And then I can get Owen properly rust protected and rust proofed and everything ready for next winter but I can get him used from the spring onwards, get him used to the spring and the summer. But rather than rushing him and trying to just get an MOT on him before Christmas, which I could potentially still do if I, if I had a couple of days to dedicate to doing the work on him, I could do it. I've still got a couple of days of holiday days to take before the end of the year. I could potentially have a couple of days of solid repairs and solid welding and I could potentially still get him done and MOT but then I think again while I've got the Astra I may as well just carry on using the Astra aren't I? keep using the twin top well that were a lovely little drive now just coming on to Woodhead itself anybody who uh, has ever driven around this part of the country knows how notorious Woodhead Pass can be. It can be pretty bloody deadly this road. <laughs> it's one road that always gets closed when um, when there's bad snow. In fact it doesn't even need to be particularly bad snow. It just they just close it anyway. It's one of the very few roads that goes from 
over the Pennines, you know, Sheffield, Barnsley at one side and Manchester, etc. over the other side. It's obviously the motorway, the M62, and then this Woodhead and then there's the Snake Pass. Oh, that's actually a lot higher. Look at the water level. Oh, that's a hell of a lot higher than it were last time I came on here. It's only a few weeks last time I came on on this bit of road, and the level of that lake was uh, was massively lower than that. It was. So yeah, the water level has really risen. Wow. Really, really risen. Oh well, that's good. That's good to see. See, even though we live in England. And if you're watching from abroad, you might think England is always like this. You know, England's always raining. Thing is, it's not. We've had a really hot summer and um, a bit of a drought in, in places. And a lot of these lakes, the water level had really, really dropped down because it's like just been such a hot, dry summer, most of the summer. We've, we've had some rain through the summer. It's not been dry all the time, but generally speaking, it's been hot. It's like even today, it's raining. It's um, 6th of November, 2022, as I record this. And even though it's November, it's not cold by any stretch of the imagination. It's not cold at all. It's actually, uh, it's actually very, very mild. But yeah, we've had a pretty hot summer and a lot of these reservoirs have dropped. We've got a bit of a water shortage, so much so that we've got a horse pipe ban. Again, if you're watching from abroad, abroad, you might not know what a horse pipe ban is, but it's basically where the council enforces a ban on the use of horse pipes to try and save water. So people can't use horse pipes to wash the cars, they can't use horse pipes on the garden to water the grass and water the plants. And it's all in an attempt to save water because the water reserves were right down. I don't normally come this way. Um, anybody who's watched me other driving videos, I usually come through uh, the little village of um, Castleton and then go through Hope and through Bamford and Haversage to get back over to Sheffield. But today I'm actually heading to, uh, to Barnsley and I just put the route in the sat nav for where I'm going. And he said that this was the quickest route, so hence why I'm coming this way. And I thought to myself, well, you know what? It's um, stunning scenery. Very bleak, actually, on this, this section. Very bleak scenery on this bit. I'm just looking at that BMW in front with the brake lights stuck on. <laughs> Are they the brake lights or are they fog lights? Oh, they might be fog lights, actually, having said that. Yeah, I think they're fog lights, aren't they? Don't know what they've got the fog lights on for. It's not exactly foggy. And it's quite funny, actually, because this road that I'm driving on now, this is the very first route that I did when I bought this car. When I bought Sylvia, I bought her from um, a friend who lived over in Chester. And this is the route that I did driving back. My, my dad drove me over and then we drove back together with my dad following and either that that little lay-by we've just gone past, I think it's that one or it might be another one higher up, I stopped to take photos as the, uh, as the sun was going down, as we're getting a bit of a sunset. Yeah, I can't remember if it was that one or this next one here just coming up. Might have been this one here actually. I'm just looking in my rear view mirror at the view behind. And I actually think it might have been this one. We've got roadworks on here by the way, that's why the traffic's uh, so slow. My girlfriend warned me about the roadworks coming this way because she's been coming this way quite a lot to when she comes and visits me at my house. And uh, yeah, she's been saying about the roadworks up here on top of Woodhead. So yeah, I see what she means. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, 
the views on the next bit are a little bit bland and boring it's just like the top of the moorland so i might leave the video at that just a short little 10 minute driving video through the beautiful countryside in sylvia my 1986 cavalier thanks a lot for watching and um, hopefully i will have some more content on owen coming soon even if i have to do it in the dark at the side of the house with my um with my lights on try and get something done even in the dark i might have to do that but again the weather's been crap as you can see with this rain just keep getting constant rain recently so you can't really do welding in the rain so even if it's even if it's fine and dry it's pitch black but most of the time it's not been fine and dry it's been chuffing raining so i'll try and get done what i can do guys i also want to try and get some done on uh, on my astra, my astra on my um cavalier convertible through the winter because that's obviously in the garage so keep tuned i might actually end up doing some content on that doing some welding on it and giving a bit of an update on progress so thanks a lot for watching guys and i'll uh, i'll keep you informed and i'll see you next time bye